Now, I think the most important thing is trying to do something that um, is an idea in the mind. And I think today's painting is going to be just that. I think I've got this image in my mind and to be able to get that onto a canvas or cardboard in my case um, and try and recreate something that's, 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 that's there, um, it, it, it's a skill. It is. Um, I've got a, an idea today. I'm not too sure if this is going to work, but I'm going to give it a try. I've already sketched out um, something like a barn there. Um, I might put a mountain in. i got definitely going to put some water in here. But I got this idea today to do another Christmas card type of painting, which I'm, I'm, I'm going to wrap up next week. Um, I think my last Christmas-themed painting will be will be next week because I was I was asked why are you painting them so early um, I'm using a little bit of Prussian blue and a little bit of Prussian blue at the moment and a little bit of process blue um, you can use any blues you want I just want to get this wintry looking sky in and um, and I said well th there's no point painting for Christmas cards, if you're going to make Christmas cards, there's no point painting, painting Christmas cards in December, really, because you, you, by the time you make them and everything, and get them into card and whatever you, whatever format you are going to do it, you're going to take photographs of them. Are you going to, are you going to make the cards yourself? You know, are you going to create the painting for Christmas? Well, you know, now is the time really to, to to start thinking about that, because. You know, it's Christmas will be on us before we know it. That's what I was saying anyway. So as I come in down, I'm getting a bit lighter and lighter and lighter like that. So I'm going to put a mountain in, in a minute. Actually, I think I'm going to bring this down a bit further than what I was planning. Um, I'm just using some white and blue and stuff. Just... The, the 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 process you see me going through um with my paintings um these as as i've always said idea idea paintings for myself and if i deem that they can, they are fit enough to or the idea or the theme is going to work um as a larger painting or something like that then and then i can take these I can take these paintings just that step further and spend a little bit more time on them, get them into a bit more detail. But what I do is a lot of sketching paintings, a lot of, a lot of idea paintings. That's what, that's what these tend to be. My YouTube video tends to be um, a lot of idea paintings, really. And, and if I want to take them on a bit further, then that's exactly what I do. Um, because we've got to have an idea of where we go in. Even even the old, um, even Bob Ross um, did a lot of. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with Bob Ross, but even he did a lot of pre-paintings, pre-idea paintings um, before he went and put them out onto um, PBS, which is the uh, the American um, TV channel that he worked with and he he had um paintings just off camera um a painting just off camera that he was actually taking and I, the, the copying from basically so the, the paint a lot of the paintings you'll see him doing um on the tv programs are copies of what he's already painted because he say he was doing 17 episodes then he'd have to come up with 17 ideas uh, he wouldn't do them just on the spot um He'd have an idea and he'd have the, f the painting just off camera that he worked on. That could have taken him um, a, a day or two days or whatever. I don't know. I'm just saying. That could have taken him a bit longer than what you would you would see on the 20-minute episode or 25-minute episode. Um, so it, there's nothing wrong in, and there's no, there's no right or wrong way to, to plan a painting. Um, a lot of artists do several sketches if they're doing a portrait or something like that. They'll sit there, they'll talk to the the person they're painting. And um, what they'll do then is they'll 
they'll sketch and they'll draw and they may do a few paintings and so all these all these things help you to create a finished work of art this is what i'm trying to say um and, um, and it works really well it it does it works really well so you know when you when you're sitting down in the studio um don't you don't have to you don't have to um think about well that's not good i'll chuck it in the bin um that hasn't worked out and you know play with the ideas first play with your play with your ideas first and 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 try and get them the way you want especially if you're doing something like uh, an i need an ideas painting or something like that so i'm just going to I'm just going to get a little bit of Prussian blue. Prussian blue and, and, and burnt umber will will make a, a, a very dark black. Well, it's a blacky colour. The dark colour. That dark, dark colour is what we want. Because we want to put a... I want to put a, a mountain range. Talking about Bob Ross now, I've decided I'm going to put a mountain range in there. There we go. So, let's just make that side... Let's make that side a little bit darker than that side. There we go. And I'm going to bring that light that side down. And I'm going to tell you what we could do. We could put a... I'll tell you what we could do. We could put another... mountain range or something just inside in front of that one like that bring that down that looks good i like that i do like that idea <coughs> okay so let's bring this mountain there Bring that down there, get a little bit of um, colour just coming in. We don't want it too dark. A little, little difference, we don't want it too dark. We're going to put some snow on there in a second because this is going to be a snowy mountain. There we are. You could do this effect if we wanted to you could get a card like that and you could you could basically pull in some or pull off some paint which will create that effect You don't have to paint with a paintbrush and paint. You can get quite effective um, formations with just playing around. And it's important. We tr we've got to try and put... I'm going to put a little bit of black with this. Burned umber, Prussian blue. Small amount of black. I want to put a darker range just in front. There's maybe a rolling hill or something there. Like that. There we are. Just in front of that one. go <laughs> oh yeah and let's get um let's get some white blue let's lighten that up a touch just like that cool that off a touch like that small so let's see if we can put a little bit of let's see if we can put just a little bit of snow just on top of that
mountain peak, just that now, just a little bit of, I can see if it's just catching there, not, not, not a lot, I don't put a lot on there, there we are, just a touch, just a touch, now I'm going to dry that off with a hairdryer, uh, oh actually before I do that, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do, we're going to use the old toothbrush again, because um, I want to put some, I want to put some snow in, and again, all we need to do is just get some water or whatever medium you use um, into some white, titanium white paint and just flick a little bit of that over that mountain like this. It works in two ways. It gives you a little bit of snow effect, but also it just knocks that color back a touch because it's an optical illusion okay so I'm going to dry that off with a hairdryer now I'm hoping that's dry enough um, because what I want to do now um, I just want to wash this one brush um, I, if you look at my palette I've got um, some phyllo green that I've just managed to get out of my drawer um, if you haven't got any of that green it doesn't matter it's quite a transparent green uh, the reason I'm using that, I'll show you in a second. But you can use any green for this. Um, I'm just going to use a, a phyllo green because I like phyllo green. Um, I'm just going to get some very thin titanium white. Now, normally I use a zinc white for this. But I'm just going to use a bit of titanium white because it's a little bit more opaque. I hope it's not going to be too strong. And I'm just going to quickly... Mist that down with a bit of white. I don't want to be too strong with this, but I want to be able to push that mountain back because you put in a little glaze of color over this mountain. I hope you can see it. I'll make it a little bit more opaque because I want to show you on camera i'm just going to go over that mountain so it looks it by by dulling or not dulling it yeah by dulling the color by knocking that color away may, not making it look so bright um it's making it look more dull it's actually going to push the mountain further back there we are there we go so i'm going to dry that again that's going to be very quick So you can see it's dulled back a bit. I'm going to put a bit more snow in later on. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to just get a, a, a little detailing brush, if I can find one. Um, I'm never organized. That's one thing I'm not in the studio is organized, and I don't believe in being that organized. Um, I'm just going to get some um, black and white just to make a gray. So what I want to do now is just get my an idea of where my buildings are going to be. Because I'm going to put some buildings in. There we go. Just a rough idea. And it's going to be roughly there like that. And I might have one come in. more like that it's more gray that's going to be a bit further back so okay so that's roughly where that's roughly where i want this building like that okay now what i've got to do is get a brush get some i'm going to put a bit of prussian blue and some white 
we're going to put some little marks like this just to represent a forest maybe a little bit of shadow here and there a bit more white This little tiny little marks like that. Boom 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 boom. bit more grey now. Let's go increasingly darker. It's a massive bushes and things. Let's get a little bit of white. like that and just keep putting in some of these trees shapes that's like that just make it up as we go along What I want to do is get some darker colour, so Prussian blue and some burnt umber. Dee 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 dee. I'm just thinking, I'm just thinking as I'm doing, I'm just thinking as I'm doing. Trying to get this picture pulled out of my mind as we do this pom 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 maybe 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 we get a bit more size of tree in and get some more snowy type of area there. There's like a mountain inside. We got the lovely mountain in the background. We got a few of these lovely trees. I don't want too much white on my brush. <coughs> oh, 
Okay, so let's get some burnt umber Prussian blue. Let's get some bigger trees in here now. As I said before, it's, it's just a, a variation on, on a theme. when you're doing things like this just try and be creative wherever you can think about trees and Christmas if you want to. Like I'm picking up way too much paint on my brush. So we slowly develop in this area. Um, okay, what I want to do now is get a bigger brush back into some burnt and burn Prussian blue. Now I'm going to go to town now. I'm going to town. Do 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 Hey, welcome, thanks for stopping by. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Just have a bit of fun and Shh. might be thinking there's a lot of white there. There's a lot of white. Actually, this is turning out slightly different than I thought. <laughs> this is turning out this is turning out different than I thought actually where's our cabin gone <laughs> I don't know where's my cabin where's my cabin gone dear me
we should really, um, I think. Get a little bit of Let's get a brush. Do 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 Do, 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 do. Get a bit of blue in, uh, a bit of white in there now, just to represent some of that snow. Tell me what we haven't done, we haven't put that. Under that mountain, away. That would pick up as well, wouldn't it? Maybe, maybe just a a little bit of brown in there, just to say, look, there's a mountain up there. There you go. Just a little bit of shadow in there. A bit of shadow. Couple of trees, maybe just picking up. Um, I don't know. You tell me. Maybe just reflections in the water. There we go. Maybe just reflections in the water. Well, I was going to put a cabin in. I was going to put a cabin in. Maybe I'll put a cabin in by there. Actually, I'm telling you what I'm thinking of doing is maybe getting a little bit of red. There we go. Let's put a little red cabin in. I'm going to put a cabin. Red cabin. Like the red post box we did the other week. Like that. There you go. Maybe. Right. some snow on the roof there you go <laughs> put a little bit of a little bit of blue but there and I'm going to just chuck a little bit of white Like 
looks it just like looks just like a square doesn't it it looks like a square but it's okay we'll get around that now there we go gonna have somewhere for our chap to live and we Brush. Let's get some. Trees and things. There we go. Cabin in the woods. A bit, a bit of snow now. Let's get some snow. Okay, we are not finished yet. We are not finished yet. So don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. We get there. We will get there. We haven't finished yet. So let's get some more snow. Again. With some snow. There, like that, and now we need to dry that really, really, really well because there's a there's a there's another stage to this. Okay, <laughs> so oh, we're having fun today, having fun today. Okay, so let's get some. I want to wash this brush. I love having fun in the studio. Okay, for first thing I'm gonna do is get some bis phyllo green. I hope it's okay. We got some phyllo green. There we are. A little bit of phyllo green. I'm going to put that back in my cupboard. Get some water. You can see it's very, very transparent. I'm going to put a, a wash of phyllo green now just into that area there. maybe a little bit darker just there like that and this is called a wash now if you're using cardboard it's fine if you're using canvas you can still use washes but i would suggest you varnish your painting afterwards so definitely definitely do that so i just want to make it a greeny type of water and then I'm gonna get my brush hopefully this will work just put a few little highlights in the water like this reflections get my script lining brush and now let's just put a little water line just under that bank there like that and then over there then let's put a few squiggly marks in just over the water 
Well, there's a few ripples on the water there. Just like that. This is already developing into a really nice painting for the future, I think. Um, I can see the potential of this one uh, as a winter, a winter project. I'm going to put some more bushes and things. And there. Get a bit of white. Now I want to make this cold again before I put the the strength of white on to make it look like snow I'm just going to push that in with my finger because it's gone on a bit thick so that's okay I'm going to dry that again I really hope this is going to be dry enough I really hope this is going to be dry enough as I said these are Christmas card paintings. So all I'm going to do is take a photograph of the painting and then I'm going to print it out on some canvas paper on the, on the, on the, on my printer for my computer. I'm going to cut it the size, you know, scale it the size. I've got one of these, I've got Christmas cards that have got like a picture frame cut out of them. And then I'm going to stick the, um, the, the photograph of on canvas paper, it's basically canvas paper. Stick the photograph to the inside of that, so you you'll have this picture with a with a frame, a card frame around it like that, and I'll have Merry Christmas inside. And that's what these are for. These are not meant to be highly detailed types of paintings. They they're Christmas cards basically, type of things. And the last one I'm going to do, I'm going to have a bit of fun with. I'm going to get some Prussian blue, not Prussian blue. Sorry, this is process blue, just a very thin process blue now. Now I'm just going to go over the painting with this, some of this blue, and this is why I wanted it dry. So let's just get a bit more processed blue. I want this tinge now of blue over what I've painted. This is a wash of colour blue wash of color which is going to give it a little glow actually you can see it's just changing the the blue is going over the the grays the blacks and the whites that i've put on and it's changing the whole look of what i've painted it's making it look very see i that was a little bit that was a little bit wet there. So you've got to be very, very careful if you do this because you put in wet paint on and wash over, over wet paint, it'll lift it. Again, a little bit more of this process blue, ultramarine blue, um, whatever you've got, as long as it's not like um, a, a Prussian blue, because the Prussian blue is going to be a little bit dark. You can put a little bit of wash then over the water. Actually, let me get a little bit of Prussian blue because I may be maybe I'll be able to darken up just this area just a little bit there like that and that with the feel of green it's going to look very watery so you've got this this cold blued um, washed painting you can get a little bit of this Prussian blue on the top of the painting now like that just to darken the sky up, just a touch. There we are. So we're getting this washy colour, getting our brush back into our 
wiped our tusk brush and we're going to put some more snow on again on over the water this time just put the snow on again like that wow a lot of snow big storm big storm now we, what you could do now dry that we need to dry that really well i'm just going to dry it quickly um Because all I want to do now um, is get my brush and I kind of emphasize more snow now. Brilliant white, titanium white. And now let's get our brush. And let's just put in. Let's get some nice, brilliant white snow. Because we've got that blue wash on there now, the white is going to stand out even more. So it looks like fresh snowfall. You can put a little bit more on these trees and things. I'm not going to do a lot. I'm not going to do everything, but put put some on the trees look there we go maybe a little bit there don't overdo but you just want a little that little bit of brightness in amongst all this heavy snowfall there we go you just do what you want to do but i'm just giving you some ideas there we are, maybe some bushes and things there like that and let's get some let's get some gray on my brush and let's just put a little bit of line like that and a bit more white because there's there's a little bit of smoke coming out of his chimney there we are because he's got a raging fire in there, it's so cold. I'm just going to tap that with my finger, like that. A bit of snow, a bit of um, smoke, sorry. Coming out of his chimney. There we go. There we are. <laughs> and you can get some more white and you can put more. You can put more things in the water like this if you wanted to, look. Just to emphasize the, the ripples, maybe there's some ripples in the water. You just enjoy yourself and have fun. I don't want to show you everything. But I want you to experiment yourself. There's no point me telling you and telling you what to do. I want you to be able to relax and have fun. If it doesn't work, it's fine. Don't worry about it. As at the end of the day, these are just Christmas card paintings. They're not designed be works of art they're designed just to look like Christmas there we are a few twigs and branches there we are a few twigs and branches there we go maybe maybe there's a little bird flying in the sky like that <laughs> have fun enjoy yourself i certainly have had fun trying to create that today out of my mind now i could take that on to a bit better painting but i'm quite happy with that as far as a lesson is concerned so uh, thank you very much don't forget to give me the thumbs up it's very important like comment share and subscribe and all that jazz and i'll see you next time Bye -bye.